Hi lovelies, hi everyone. I am Sandy M if you don't know and welcome to my channel. First things first, I would like to say Happy New Year, compliments, compliments, compliments. Secondly, I would like to say I know, I know I have been away for a long time. I released my first two videos in September last year and those were um, fun tags, it was a get to know me and a would you rather tag with my close friends but I kind of went AWOL and basically all I have to say is that I um, had to do a lot of fixing of myself, I had a lot of things to deal with and I would not have been able to produce quality content that I would have been happy with so this year is all about working on oneself you know self-love positive self-talk positive self-esteem and all of that so yeah I just wanted to get that out of the way today's look is a soft glam look and I have been seeing it doing the rounds on the internet and yeah basically this is the look how do I explain it? Soft glam does not necessarily mean minimal makeup. So it is quite, if you want to say, heavy. Um, it also doesn't automatically mean that it is a neutral look. You can have a neutral soft glam look, but today, as you can see, mine wasn't neutral. So yeah, if you would like to see how I achieved this look, please, please continue watching the rest of the video. <laughs> As you can see, I've already started with my eyebrows. I did that off camera. I have seen people who prefer to do their face first and then finish off with their eyes. Personally, I prefer to stop with the eyes and then finish off with the face, only because I am hella messy. Like, hella messy. First of all, I am going to start with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's not a huge need, but let me tell you for a fact that it's really nice to just be extra, you know? So I'm just going to start off with placing this on my lid. I'm not gonna place too much because this shit is expensive. Like, makeup is expensive, guys. So whenever you wanna make plans with someone and you're thinking of canceling, please cancel within a decent time before I start my makeup because the shit is expensive down to the flippin' primer potions that we use. So I'm going to just dab that with my Real Techniques mini blending brush. It's literally like the bigger one, but it's just mini. I love it. It's so, so handy. It gets into the little nooks and crannies without you having to use this huge buzzer buzzer. Like, I mean, sometimes I do use it for my eyes, but like, not today. So we are going to go with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. Now this sweetie, she is a legend. She has earned her spot in the OG category for flipping concealers. To be honest, I've never even tried other concealers, which is bad because I'm obviously limiting myself, which is not the goal at all. I'm also just going to dab, 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 dab. Blend, blend it out until we have got a nice canvas. Now, I'm sure some people are wondering why would you put primer potion just to put the concealer on top? Let me be honest, okay? I YouTube everything. Everything. So, I was YouTubing how to use this. Let me go in with my bigger one just to cover more surface. I'm not against using a big one, but... Why not? As I was saying, I YouTube everything and one of these professional makeup artists pretty much said that the potion um, to make it work optimally you can actually basically get more out of the product by using the potion and using a concealer on top now the golden rule for makeup is everything you do 
with the liquid it has to be set with a powder but I don't feel like doing that today my transition color will be what I used to set it this is the Phoenix palette and this is new this will be the first time I am using this and these colors are to die for darlings look at that so I'm quite excited to see what is in store for me when I'm using these products so to start off with we are going to take just a normal blending brush okay the golden rule for this channel is blend 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 that is one thing I learned in makeup school that is one thing I have seen in life blend darlings blend 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 because it just makes you look more professional okay so to start with I'm gonna go in with this color right here it's similar to skin color and I'm literally just going to apply it Ooh, this looks this pickup looks amazing can you see that and then we are going to just slightly apply that all over the crease okay Ooh, honey brought pig men tay shen to nut okay okay can you see how harsh this line is what you're going to do is literally dust off the same brush and just blend the top the edges blending for what feels like an eternity it will feel like an eternity but I promise you it is worth it now using another blending brush that's slightly firmer but also still fluffy enough I am going to use a darker color I'm going to use ooh, I'm tempted to use this one but I had initially planned to use this one <gasps> Sandy, why do they look so bum? No, I'm gonna use the one that I initially planned to use. Tap some. And then I'm just going to apply it on the outer crease. I'm just going to dab a little bit from the first color, my transition color and the first brush and just blend it all out again don't forget to keep blending guys keep blending so what I'm going to do is use this nice sparkling color I'm gonna use a nice flat brush so I can pat it on and I'll see if I need to add any more mediums to sort of make it pop a bit more I pull a very weird face when I'm putting on makeup. So all of you guys who have weird faces when you put on makeup, you are not alone, my babies. Ooh, I'm breaking a rule right now. Soft glam is pretty matte. And I think that's why I'm not going fully liquid on the shimmer because it is a matte look. Take an even smaller brush and I'm gonna take that color that I used on my outer edge and I'm also gonna mix this color and I'm going to just try and blend out the edges yes honey yes we are going to go back to the OG the OG blending brush that we used for most of this face and we are going to blend this is looking so stunning okay now I know we still have the bottom to complete 
but I would like to tidy up the fallout using my Garnier micellar water and a nice cotton pad because it is difficult to do makeup when there's shimmery stuff all over it's just it's no fun I need to work on my tidiness I think I also just apply way too much product which is something I also need to fix this year up next we are finally going to start with the face like I said I will finish the rest of the eye once everything is done because I'm still going to highlight and set and all of that so personally I tend to lose everything I've done when I get to that point and that's not really cute I live by this Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser primer it just makes my skin so bomb it just oh, it just closes all the pores and gives me the smoothest canvas on earth darling it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's not everyone's fave I'm not everyone <laughs> It is to die for. I get it at Clicks or Disc Cam. So, this is my foundation. I use the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. But, I mix two colors. I mix the colors 64 Chestnut and 50 Caramel. For the longest time, I used this um, chestnut because I was too scared to try a lighter shade and also because it was very hard to find that caramel shade and it was very um it suited me but the undertone was very 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 deep so i decided to mix them and this is what i do take two pumps of caramel i'll see if i need more and i plot it in the middle of my face okay and then Mm. I use chestnut two pumps yo you can say I'm wasting I don't know can you see how much more deeper that is and then I kind of go around the edges because it's also a deeper foundation and the undertone is a bit darker it also kind of color corrects for me because it's got a more orangey undertone this is a matte foundation and i love matte foundations then we are going to take the maybelline lasting fix setting spray and we are going to spray 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 spray, spray. and then i'm going to take my real techniques foundation brush and I am going to blend out. I usually start in the middle outwards. I think I just cut my eyebrow off. <laughs> yeah. Makeup always looks so scary when you first put it on. I'm going to finish off with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Sort of soften everything up. I definitely cut too deep into my eyeshadow. But that's nothing that can't be fixed. Okay. So can you see how it ended up blending so nicely into the skin? It is... Yo, this is my favorite foundation in the world. If you want that airbrush finish, do this, okay? People are gonna be like, girl, who did your makeup? And you'll be like, myself. Duh. And now we are done with the foundation. Okay, so now that we've got a beautiful, smooth, smooth face to work with, we are now going to highlight and contour. I am going to go in with, again, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. I love the shade. You know, she gets the job done. But Agapapi, you know, she also doesn't say where, you know? Like she doesn't do the most and that's what I appreciate about her. I'm not going to do way too much, but 
I'm gonna do a little. Sometimes I can I highlight down there, but I just <laughs> down there on my chin. I'm so childish, but I just don't feel like it today. You're going to also highlight contour just on the side of your cheekbones, not too much. Let me give you some advice. You don't want to go all the way down because now you're going to cut your face in half. Why would you want half a face? Now I'm going to go back with this Kabuki brush, but I am going to just clean off a bit of the excess. I'm going to blend my contour upwards. I say upwards because we want to lift our faces. So if you're going downwards, what are you doing? You're making, you're giving yourself a saggy face for free. For free. Always blend upwards because we are only going to the top. Okay, the top is all we know. We are going to take that girl. Our girl. You want to be quite soft with that also. You don't want to wipe off your product. So having a nice light hand goes a long way with makeup. You don't want to wipe it off and no, no. Remember what I said as listen. Listen. Don't use this against me. I know I said whenever you use a liquid you have to set with a powder and I didn't do that with my eyeshadow. But technically eyeshadow is a powder. We are going to set our highlight and contour, okay? And we are using we are using the baddest bitch in the makeup game and her name is Laura Mercier, okay? See this little setting brush from your techniques? The eh, techniques. I like to use it also for my highlight, but I like to use it to get into the nook and crannies of my... So we take our beauty sponge and we apply it nice and smoothly i'm going to use a healthy amount but you have to use it gradually that's how you achieve a nice smooth finish so my problem area till this day is my nose so i'm definitely going to go back here i'm also going to sit a little underneath my contour matte looks tend to have that sculpted look so you really want to <laughs> your face you want to snatch it you want to snatch it like a thief snatching a phone and bram okay that's how snatched your face has to be i don't know why i said that because i have actually lost phones in bram and it's not fun this is a new purchase but i have been influenced by a few influencers it is the MAC Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. Okay, this is the one um, in medium dark to dark colors. And, um, and I'm going to use this brush here. And I'm going to take this nice, oh, this one is nice, this dark one here. Okay, and I'm going to just, I'm just going to plant it where my contour is. I don't want to do too much because I've never used this, you know? So I don't want to do isn't though that I don't know, okay? <laughs> I am going to take just a normal brush that I got from this Kim and clean off the excess. Listen, this is probably one of my favorite brushes in the world, all right? With that same brush, this is a blush brush actually. I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. As you can see, I have hit pan. This is my baby over here, okay? She adds warmth and I am just going to swivel in between the two colors, as you can see I've been doing. And I'm just honestly going to bronze around my face. Nothing too much. I'm just going to go back to this palette and I'm going to finish the bottom of my eye. Mix these two colors 
and I'm going to do my bottom lash line. Don't blow into your brushes, it's actually very unhygienic. And then I'm honestly, with a clean brush, I'm just going to soften the edges because it's quite harsh. Got it! Alright, now whew, we are getting there guys, I promise you we are getting there. I am going to do my balouche and we are going to use the Iconic Raisin by MAC and I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush, this has a lot of pickup and I'm going to go along my cheek. I like to also put blush up there. It's very 80s. It's very, very 80s. But once you know the rules, you can break them. Break them properly. I love blush. And don't do this. You'll look like Bozo the Clown. Unless if that's the look you want to go for. Actually, yeah, let me just stop being so mean. What if, what if, what if your calling is to be Bozo the Clown? Remember what I said earlier on about blending? We still haven't forgotten that. So I'm still going to take that foundation brush I used. And I'm going to just blend any possible harsh lines because, honey, it's a soft glam look. Okay, as much as it's snatched, it's still soft. We are getting to the most important parts. I have the MAC Real Glow, Hyper Real Glow kit here. And I, there are three shades in here, I've never used it. But I'm going more for this one. Um, because, no, let's see. Yeah, because it's nice and gold and stuff. And I'm just going to lightly. Ooh, shit. Bitch! I did not realize how pigmented this was. <gasps> you wanna try and lightly brush your highlight on. And I also like to put a little bit on my brow bone. Lightly. Lightly. Do my lips, honey. I'm going to line it with a NYX. NYX suede matte lip liner. This is not my forte. It's very weird. I've had these lips for almost 25 years and I don't know how to line them. But I will not give up. Huh? Woo! This is making me really self-conscious. I was going to make a glossy lip, but because this is a matte look, I may as well stay with the matte theme. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Super Stay uh, Matte Ink and do my lips. Okay. You don't want a harsh line also. Guys, I forgot to do something important. Set the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Fix uh, powder. But I broke my own rule. Oh my gosh. But this might help actually just mattify everything. Like the glow will come from within, you know? Instead of it being like bam in your face, like bam. But um, I like to also sit down here, you know. Ooh, I can feel my sweat, honey. Sweat. Okay. There are a few things that I'm going to do off camera, such as put on my lashes. 
I have got the Ailure Enchanted ones. I'm really excited to see how that goes. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm also going to use a liquid liner. This is very, very, very affordable. I got it at Discount from Beauty Treats. I'm not going to do a winged liner, but I'm going to, after I apply the lash, I'm going to just dab it across just to give it that black look. In the meantime, honey, it's time to set. This is my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is also a legend. She will never do you wrong. She is loyal, honey. And because I am extra, I'm also going to use my Maybelline Lasting Fix one. They're pretty much the same. You know, all night I better watch out. So while I wait for this to dry, I am also going to go finish the look. All right, so I have finally come back with my lashes done. And yeah, this is the final look. Look, honey, look at that. Can you, can you see that, darling? It is you know so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please please try out this look tag me in your pictures i want to see how people interpreted it and you know added their own flavor and also i would like to say thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions of other looks you would like me to do please leave them in the comments section below so as all youtubers say please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video <laughs> Bye.